hi you should subscribe to Yuzo also like the video and subscribe gang gang enjoy the video all right yo what's goody guys in today's video uh we're gonna have a little bit different of a video like a different video than we usually have uh so today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to create like custom after no, what, what am i talking about custom profile pictures or like logo youtube logo whatever uh yeah so like whatever yeah, all that you know so like custom profile pictures or logos or whatever you want to call it. i'll show you hold on give me two say all right so you see my discord right okay i almost leaked my stuff hold on um, all right so if you see okay no no that's not for today's video. like stuff like this like this this one really wasn't that clean but yeah this one stuff like this you know all right okay so let's just get straight into the video all right so first things you're not gonna go in photoshop i don't know why i did that but like you gotta go in cinema 4d you gotta have cinema 4d to have cinema 4d you're gonna have to go in my discord and get cinema 4d there if i still haven't posted let me know because i'm an idiot sometimes and i don't post you know but i'll make sure it's posted bro i'll make sure it's there bro all right so uh yeah so you need photoshop as well you're gonna need cinema 4d and photoshop that is all you need for this video or whatever and to be honest i have no idea how to thingy how to use cinema 4d so i just use a template kind of it's not like a template template but like if you know what i mean hold on uh to be honest i have no idea i can't teach you guys how to use cinema 4d because like i'm just struggling because i don't even know how to like add text and stuff that's why i fucking use the template bro <laughs> all right hold on intro stuff now where's that i can't find my folder hold on um after effects where's that yeah i'm kind of fucking okay there we go uh there we go so we're gonna need this one right I swear it's the wrong one. Oh my god this one is the right one all right so i don't know random text over here right yep just random text i just picked this all right so look if you have like many layers like this i have no idea how to do text but you guys are just gonna have to do your own text you know i can't really teach you guys uh, i'm just using this thingy all right so as you can see i'm just putting thingy there you know and then font you can change the font to whatever i personally like using like fucking old english fonts or whatever they're called i have no idea bro <laughs> old england fonts or whatever no, i have no idea to be honest um let me show you what they look like they look fucking amazing trust me um wait i got one case oh, okay no i don't got four yeah you guys need to start watching my videos fully bro trust me guys watch like watch step by step because if not you're gonna get it wrong and you're gonna come on my discord and you're gonna complain so please watch this video like fully without actually skipping or anything it really helps out my channel actually i'm not even joking it helps out my channel but yeah all right old london is this one which one do i use bro i forgot yo i'm sorry guys but i actually don't know okay this one yeah so i like using this one and then to pick color i just track this there i have no idea how to use thingy trust yeah like this one this one's kind of nice all right but i have no idea how to use this thing but yeah all right so if you go in your text layer you press c this will thing up, come up and then just open 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 and then just pick one and then like you can switch up like the letters you know so you can like put them in front i'll do this hold on like that and then this can be like a little bit like that and then just rotate a little bit i always rotate my stuff you know because um it just makes it better you know like that and then so like that so i pick this put a little bit in behind and the z comes a little bit in front I like to have it something like this, some random stuff. All right, yeah. So after you after you've done that, you press here. <coughs> All right, I'm sorry, guys. Mm, after that, you just pr press save and then just choose whatever wherever you want to save it. All right, just choose where you want to save it. After you've done that, exit out and then click this one right here and just let it render. You know. All right, but I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it. So hold on. All right, so for YouTube size, it's gonna be 800, 800 pixels and pixels and inches. 
if i'm talking too fast just let me know but yeah that's how you could do the thing thing you know so i use 800 800 for discord and youtube so yeah so first you need the background for these intros i mean no logos uh, for these logos i make to find those i'll post some in my discord um hold on i'll post some in my discord you know just to give you a little head start you know but if you guys really want like other backgrounds or whatever just go ahead and ask in general help in my in my discord and then yeah some people will definitely send you i hope <laughs> Uh, so to be honest for backgrounds, I have no idea what to use. I usually just use like pre-edited uh, backgrounds or whatever you want to call them um, hold on. So like for example this probably nope that didn't work this nope that didn't work nope this didn't work all right oh wait Yeah, I'll just use this one for this video. I don't know so don't worry if it looks blurry because you're still gonna blur it so like this for example we'll just pick the best where you want to have it like this i like to have it like this yeah maybe like that all right now the first thing you do is you put it there delete this layer press filter blur and gaussian blur and i usually put it at three 2.8 something like that around three or whatever you know what looks good you know to you after that you're gonna place your text which i already got all right we'll just use this text uh i know it's red but i'll change the color i'll show you how to change the color if you guys really don't know just size it up how you want it all right so make a new layer or like make a hue saturation if you're pressing this and then hue saturation right hold alt and then press here so then it will only like matter for this so you press on the hue saturation and now let's change the color to wherever you want Okay. all right uh, so like that i'll probably have it like this yeah that's pretty nice but then as you can see it's kind of weird like down here and stuff so just create a new layer actually yeah you can have it like this and so it's a uh, thingy you know just press here use the brush tool and then look before you use the brush tool click here and then overlay so here and then overlay right then you can just select use black so it doesn't like really like mess up your thing but you use black and just color over you know so it looks better like that that should work yeah that should work <coughs> so you see so it used to be like this and i made it like that that's so much better isn't it uh all right so now what you want to do is you want to find a gfx pack or whatever you use on youtube so just search like gfx packs or something i'll use killer pack for this video it's a free pack on youtube look just search up like okay hold on like just search up GFX packs, PZs, or whatever. GFX packs. Like this, hold on. Like this. You have lots of GFX packs. Just download many and just see what's best for you. Because these packs are literally the best for anything. Profile pictures. Even even clothing. I'm not even joking. Even clothing. But what we're looking for is particles. I'm trying to get that little, this leaf thing, whatever. But I'm trying to get this as well. So to get that, just drag this layer over here. And then make sure it's under this yeah that looks good doesn't it looks perfect but i'm also trying to get these leaves you know this would look cool can add that as well to be honest okay so it doesn't really stand out much let me just do that just multiply this nope that doesn't do anything okay what was that okay so trying to make this work but doesn't really show that well but i guess that works looks kind of decent so now you got this you can already have it just like that but since i'm uso i'm gonna use cc's cc's are one of the most important thing even in clothing i'm not even joking like this clothing is a big part of gfx i have my friend named china bro he like he he's a good gfx and all but like he never have done anything clothing about her but like, he's already better because he knows gfx and stuff so there's a go we got two things it looks better now doesn't it yeah it does all right so after that you can actually turn this a little bit down because you don't want that too much but yeah after that you just got your intro i mean no logo i don't want to say intro you got your logo whatever you can do anything else if you want but uh let's say i'm done with this 
let's say I'm done with this. So to make it better, you're going to click hold control, click here, click on the top, right? And then hold shift, go all the way at the bottom and click this one. And then you're going to click group or this one, this group folder. After that, press control J to copy it and then right click and then merge group. Now you have this press filter, um, raw camera filter because you want to make it better. You know, I'm trying to show you guys trying to make it better all right so if you want to make it better click on basic put the temperature a little bit down or up well it looks the best i'm gonna put a little bit down exposure a little bit up contrast a little bit up shadows a bit down actually kind of like like this and then you're gonna go vibrance a bit up like this probably that looks pretty good yeah, a little bit of hue saturation as well now color mixer going blue you either put less blue or more. I'm gonna do more for this. Just click OK or like press P and just see the difference. That's a big difference, isn't it? So it should look better now. Look, yep, that's how it looks. And now to even make it better. I'm joking. You don't even have to make it better. It's pretty good now. If you guys did that, just click save, save as. Make sure you save as PNG. Hold on. I know guys can see. Save as PNG, put it wherever. Just name it something, something, something png thingy and you're done that's it you got your thingy you got your profile picture or whatever this is how short amount of time it took it took me 10 minutes it took me 10 minutes to make that that's how easy it is and now okay i'm not sure like, hold on. and now i'm gonna just post it in my discord real quick all right as you can see this one was not good at all i know i just didn't it wasn't really good this one it's pretty all right i guess but yeah, you can make it much better. You can do anything else to make it better. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Smash a like, smash a subscribe. Yo, let me know what videos you guys want. And yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.